companies like ServiceNow, which are um, you know really trying to bring that agentic AI stuff into their products that they're now. I I have no insight into ServiceNow. I'm not in in an enterprise that uses their software. Right. Um, but you know those so. As we go through earnings season, because this is the earnings show, I'm looking for companies that are uh, talking about and and hopefully eventually sh- showing where revenue is being generated by uh, people subscribing to these a- these agentic AI models that are actually helpful, you know, and not just novelty, um, you know, what what kind of goofy picture can I make, but actually <laughs> driving innovation and and productivity in in companies. And I'm sure it's already happening, but some so much of that is like behind the scenes of like you know, the internal workings of businesses that we, we don't get to see. So that that's a big trend I, I want to keep an eye on. I, I think you're spot on. I, I will say this, um, as somebody who follows a lot of software companies, you know, the tech world is tend to, tends to be where I do most of my looking for investment ideas. Um, it was about, uh, it was about start of last year where some of the SaaS companies basically were saying, hey, we're, we're beta testing our AI capabilities with our customers. Oh, that's cool. Right. So I, I remember reading that. And I remember as I started reading it, more, more companies started doing beta testing. And then a f- couple of them would say, Oh, we're out of beta. Oh, well, you know, okay. Well, what kind of revenue revenue you, are you getting? Well, can't really break out revenue, but we're seeing, uh, we're seeing a pickup in the number of seats that the, you know, the, uh, that, that that customers are buying, we're seeing engagement. We're getting feedback, right, about how how it's working. The classic example that I use is a company called Smartsheet, which un- unfortunately was uh, taken private um, recently. And that that was exactly what happened. You know, we're testing it in beta. We're just you know we're it's out of beta. We're starting to get good feedback. You know, oh, now we're actually starting to see incremental increases in our revenue as a result of, um, as a result of having more of this rolled out. In terms of, we can charge a little bit higher prices for those who want to use it. Um, we're getting more uptake in incremental seat buying. You know, like, uh, the the subscriptions uh, that are associated with it. And it, I, my theory is. Um, the private equity firm looked at this and was like, this is, this is so cheap. Like we are getting all of this and essentially the market has not digested it yet, which was my thesis. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm getting, it's getting taken away from me. Um, but, uh, but I, I wholeheartedly agree. Uh, I will be looking you know, for continued data points. Um, I have not seen anybody truly quantify revenue just yet, Yep, but, Keep looking at those, you know, what they talk about in terms of engagement. You can look at dollar-based net retention levels to see if like, you know, do they, have, do they have any commentary about did AI help this go up? That's an upsell. That's a retention increased, right? Things like that. Just keep looking for it. 